Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a big thank you card to share with you uh, because for the past one and a half year I was part of an amazing design team from Crafty Meraki and I couldn't be more grateful for everything that I have gotten from opportunities, friendships, um, possibilities products to play with, um, I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, but sadly I am leaving this amazing design team due to personal reasons, um, mostly a lack of time because of it. As you probably noticed the past weeks I haven't been sharing as much just because I just don't find the time. But I have been creating just really slowly, one car at a time, and then just taking my time to get through the editing and such. So at a certain point, I realized that combining all of the design teams was going to be really hard. And although I tried, and Bindu was really, really amazing and patient with me, um, somehow it was inevitable to, at a certain point, have to leave this amazing team. So it's with a heavy heart that I'm doing this voiceover and I can be honest about it. I am trying for the fifth time to keep it together uh, while doing the voiceover because I really, really enjoy this team and I love Crafty Meraki and, and Bindu, the amazing owner of Crafty Meraki. She's amazing. She's like a big sister to me and it just... It's just really, really sad. So I'm going to try to sometimes skip towards the, the creation of the card so that I can get it together again. So let's talk about that card for a bit. I'm using the Butterfly Garden Stencil today, which is an amazing stencil with lots of butterflies, as you can see. I decided to go with a bit of a purple kind of vibe because purple works it's scary, I think, to use purple, but it, every time it works, it shines, uh, it's powerful. And I know that the amazing owner, Bindu, from Crafty Meraki, loves purples. So I decided, as my final card, to use this color combination and hopefully bring a smile on her face when she sees this card. So after stenciling, I just thought it was a bit too wide in the back. So that's why I really softly added the same colors sort of on the same area where the butterflies had that same purple. Next I took the stencil again, I cleaned it off, I took it again and now I'm going to add a bit of glitter because Crafty Meraki, I mean you don't need to use glitter but isn't this a fabulous brand and any glitter is allowed when you're using Crafty Meraki because it's a shining brand and I just love it. So, I added the stencil again and I'm going to use some glimmer paste from Nuvo. This one is Moonstone and it will slightly change the color of the butterflies, which was kind of a cool element. I didn't expect it, but I like it. Okay, so back to my amazing adventure at Crafty Meraki. I remember the day that Bindu asked me whether I wanted to be on the team. It was one of the best days of my life. We all know it, you're like a new crafter, you're finally sharing your work online and then all of a sudden imagine someone is interested in you being on their team. I think it's one of the biggest honors you can ever get if you are doing this hobby ever. Um, not that you need to and time wise now I I don't want it necessarily at this point um, but I mean it's like it's the same just it's small but if someone asked me whether I have a baby car for them instead of going to a shop immediately and looking for it there I am honored so that day was like a dream come true and I looked for the products that Crafty Meraki had at that time. They were still young, Crafty Meraki was still young, and they had these amazing slimlines. 
truly unique slim lines. And I was immediately convinced that I wanted to be on this team. Never doubted a second about it. Um, and aside from that, aside from the products Crafty Meraki had at that moment, I was combining Crafty Meraki with my favorite things. So therefore, I thought, let's just bring a little bit of my favorite things into this card um, and also make it a thank you card if possible so that it really, really shows that I'm so, so grateful for you, Bindu, for everything, um, for the past one and a half years in your team uh, because it truly was a big part of my life and it was one of the good parts of my life. A lot happened. A lot happens just in general over one and a half years. But this really was a good thing that happened to me. And I wouldn't change it for anything. So I said yes. And then this amazing adventure started. And aside from the slim lines, Crafty Meraki created mini slim lines. And stamps and matching dies and now stencils and embellishments like tons of embellishments and every time every new release i was just blown away excited to get crafting to create new cards and inspire so i made tons of videos i was almost every friday at the crafty Meraki youtube channel so if you want to see more inspiration with Crafty Meraki products, I will definitely still use Crafty Meraki whenever I have the time. But if you're looking for videos with Crafty Meraki, go to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Um, there are tons of videos. There is an incredible YouTube design team that is sharing weekly videos. Uh, really, really tons of fun, tons of inspiration. So if you're looking for that, just subscribe to Crafty Meraki. And then I was over there and on Instagram and a lot happened and a lot of giveaways were given. Um, and I definitely think Crafty Meraki is going to continue doing giveaways with new releases and such. Uh, but speaking about giveaways, uh, thanks to Bindu, I can do a giveaway on Instagram. I think it's a huge one. Uh, one well several of my favorite dies from the past release the Meraki Versary release um, I can give away <laughs> on Instagram um, due to shipping and all these things uh, it will be limited to Europe only and I'm really sorry if you're not living in Europe but as I said don't worry Crafty Meraki Bindu she is really generous just wait for the next release and the release after and after and maybe there will be some games in between or some random giveaways. Uh, you will definitely have tons of opportunities to go for uh, at Crafty Meraki. But I'm doing a giveaway on Instagram. Only there, not here. On Instagram. Um, and I will add a picture there of the items that I can give away thanks to Crafty Meraki. So definitely check it out. That being said, back to the card. <laughs> so I added everything on top of my mini slimline card base. And just to finish off this card, I'm using my favorite Meraki Sparkle. This one is the Periwinkle. I don't know if I am pronouncing it correctly. But if you don't have these sparkles you are missing out i will explain so as i said in the beginning purple it's a really powerful strong color and every time i create a purple card it scares me in the beginning but in the end i'm so grateful that i that i tried it because it just shines it's magical but if you can add these Meraki Sparkle, Periwinkle, to your purple card. Also other colors. But if you want to make a purple card, I'm talking about purple. <laughs> These really just, they pass it to another level. You need the Periwinkle. So if you're doubting, you go to the Meraki, uh, Crafty Meraki side, and you're doubting about which embellishments you need, 
and which you want as well and all those things drop it you have to have the meraki sparkle periwinkle and there is a lot of choice i know because i want all of them as well but there is one that you really cannot wait for it's this one <laughs> so i hope that i can convince you throughout this video but it's just perfect it's purple there is blue in it there is pink in it every color you need to emphasize your purple card is in this purple and you have several sizes but that you have it all of the crafty Meraki jewels and sparkles so guaranteed success oh normally I'm sort of finishing the video but I decided since this is sort of my final video as part of a team to do a bonus card yes I know spectacular I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that Bindu enjoys it as well so I'm just going to continue with the things I created in the beginning being that amazing background and I just had so much luck because it was perfect to fit behind this three room studio mini slim line which is also basic that was released way back and is one of my favorites it's it's like always right aside me because you can use it for so many cards clean and simple um, scenery uh, like this you can add a gorgeous sentiment right in the middle and you can still have lots of things showing i was almost thinking about creating a shaker card but then i thought no just keep it simple as everyone knows me i love creating clean and simple cards so i added birthday wishes from the flaming birthday stamp set that was also released throughout the meraki versary release from which i'm going to give away some of the dies um, on instagram okay so i just added this panel as you can see it's just the size that i need i don't have a lot of wiggle room i decided however to add a bit more reinforcements um, underneath all of these wide areas in the middle um, just because otherwise it was a bit too loose for me uh, so it was a bit fiddling but it worked and this way it was a bit more sturdy i'm going to use some scotch tree and foam tape to add on the back of this panel i am covering it completely you don't need to but i'm one of those people that is always doing that just to reinforce when going through mail um so yeah i'm just backing it completely and then I will use my craft knife to help me get rid of all those backings of this foam tape. And then we can add it to a mini slimline as well. So as you can see, the gorgeous thing about these slimlines is that it's small. But due to the height of the mini slimline, you can actually create two cards out of one stenciled background if you are careful when trimming it down. Uh, which is really really lovely. I didn't expect it, but I'm glad that I tried it and so I could share one more card for this kind of special video. I'm using again this periwinkle Meraki Sparkle because it just works. It works, it's gorgeous, it works. Um, so I decided to lay it out, play a bit with placement, and once I was happy, I'm going to add it with some liquid glue as well. And I'm also using an embellishment wand. If you don't have it yet, okay. But if you want to really go quick when you are adhering embellishments, I would definitely recommend any wand, any embellishment wand, uh, because it truly helps you with those tiny embellishments. Also here again, I'm playing with the several sizes provided by Crafty Meraki. It's always fun to mix a bit of um, different sizes whenever doing placement of embellishments so that's what I'm doing here and then this card is completely finished my official final card as being part of the Crafty Meraki design team I hope that along the way you enjoyed the creations that I shared with you and got inspired in any way also today I hope you did get inspired um, I truly enjoyed the ride I'm I'm sad that it is ending, uh, but I'm not far away um, in any occasion. If you need me, Bindu, I'm there for you. You are like a big sister to me, and 
I will be forever grateful for everything, um, for everything. Aside from that, I just want to wish you all the best with Crafty Meraki. I know for sure that you will still grow tons and that you will conquer the world with your amazing products. I will be silently aside you, cheering you on uh, in any step that you take. I believe in you. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I hope to someday see you. Um, I wish you all the best.